Ciao! Work on this. Hello and welcome to Goma at Home. Today I'm preparing a family favorite. What else? No other than cheeseburgers. Okay, so simulan natin pagawa natin ng cheeseburger. First, you need the uh, good quality beef, no? Ang suggestion ko when you make cheeseburgers, mas maganda yung mas maraming fat. Yung iba kasi gusto nila very lean, but you see, pag maraming fat yung beef mo, yung ground beef mo, that means you have more flavor. More fat means more flavor. So, at least about mga, mga 25%, 20% ng, ng fat meron sa, sa ground beef, no? So, I'll begin with grinding up some uh, pepper, okay? We we'll put in lots of pepper. I want my uh, cheeseburger to be savory. Yon. There. And then, kung meron kayong uh, rosemary, kahit dried rosemary, just put some dried rosemary. It gives you a different, uh, parang Italian taste, no? So, we'll uh, grind some uh, dried rosemary leaves. Yon. Yung salt natin, mamaya natin ilalagay yung salt natin when we're uh, grilling this. So we'll, we'll grill our burgers ng pati natin. I'll put some hot sauce. Yun. Very good. Next. Imamasa na natin ito. Alright. So, kailangan malinis yung kamay mo. In my case, bagong hugas ako. Ano lang, mix mo lang siyang ganun. Yan o. Nice. Itong burgers na, the best talaga ito pag ano, pag snacks, o kaya yung pag on the go ka, no? Punta ka sa, punta ka sa grocery mo na bago umalis and then prepare your, your patties. Alam nyo ba pa paano nag, nagsimula yung, yung burgers? Because in the early 30s, 20s and 30s, nagkaroon na ng industrial revolution, no? So yung mga tao, they didn't have enough time anymore na magluto sa mga bahay nila. So, they decided on, on food na madaling gawin, madaling uh, i-arrange, tapos nadadala nila. So, eh yung before, in the early years pa, hindi naman talaga magkasama, hindi naman common yung tinapay at saka yung, yung beef eh. So, sabi nila, most likely, yung hamburger nagsimula sa, sa Hamburg, Germany. Yan. Iba naman, naging kese, naging very popular yung hamburger sa Amerika. No? So, now, itong cheeseburger, hamburger, Talagang very iconic ito, iconic na pagkain sa Amerika. When you when you speak of uh, hamburgers, you don't think of Germany anymore. When you think of when you speak of uh, hamburgers, you always think of America. No, it's like pasta, Italy, mga ganun. So, ito, nahalo na natin ng mabuti. Gagawa tayo ng ng pati natin. Although, I'll just uh, wash my hand again. Prepare ko lang yun, no? Yung sa natin lalagay yung patty kasi after we do the patty, I'll prepare naman yung uh, yung sauce natin para sa sa buns natin, okay? I will line this with the uh, wax paper. Yun. And this way I'll, I'll prepare my patty. Okay, so with this one siguro gawin natin ng apat. Apat na patty muna. So I want my my patty to be big. I-roll up mo siya na ganun. Iba, what they do naman, as a binder, they uh, put uh, an egg. Ako, I don't, I don't like uh, putting eggs uh, as binder. Kasi, kaya naman ng, ano, ng uh, beef mag, ano, uh, mag, mag stand alone na ganito. Okay, so there you go. Ang ganda ng uh, fat na may feel mo sa kamay mo. Oh. Okay, there you go. Nice. So, I-form mo siya ito, patty. Yun. Alright. Okay, nice, huh? mm. And then once it's all assembled, ang bilis lang ito, tutuin. It takes about 8 minutes para, para maluto ito. Yung pati, ang dami mong pwedeng gawin na variation dito. Kaya nga meron na uso ngayon sa ano eh, di ba? Sa mga, sa mga fast food, yung burger steak. Yun. Tayo mga Pinoy, mahilig tayo na naikan un. No? So instead of using uh, burger buns sa... Uh, sa cheeseburger natin, what we do is we we replace it with rice. Tapos nilalagyan natin ng, ng sauce. Yun. So here it is. Let me just uh, put this on the side. Okay. 
always wash your hands pag ano, after touching uh, raw food chicken, pork yan, in this case beef so ngayon, may yung grill ko dito mainit na what I'll do, I'll put a little more I'll put pieces of wood pa para mas malakas ng konti yung yung grill natin yan put a little more yan sakto na yan by the time we finish preparing this baga na yan alright I'll put my patties on the side dyan ka lang and then prepare natin yung pinaka sauce natin no? for the bun so we have, I'm using Japanese uh, mayonnaise para flavored na kagad siya alright sarap ba? Mm? Japanese mayonnaise we will put some uh, ketchup I'm using tomato ketchup and then some mustard yun yun tapos i sago lang na to we'll mix this hmm? yan na yun itong spread natin sa sa bun natin ganda in fact to make it more tangy and spicy lagyan natin ng konti oops lagyan natin ng konting hot sauce there you go go beauty nice Siyempre, ito yung gagawa ka ng mga sauce mo na mga mix na ganito. Always. Always try it. Para alam yung timpla. Kung tama na ba. Let's clean the spatula. Woo! Sarap. Then, kuha ko ng uh, onion. And then, always work with a sharp knife. Kasi napakadelikado talaga. Your knife is blunt. Paano kasi pinipwersa mo siya? So most of the most of the mga injuries sa ka accidents na nangyayari sa sa kitchens because of using a a blunt knife. So here, and then again again. What I'll do, I'll, I'm going to grill our onions, no? Hindi ko siya i if I fry, I'll grill it. So I don't want the onions na yung yung very soft sa sa burger. So masarap siya na parang parang half done, half cooked lang siya. Para ma ma feel mo yung yung medyo yung spice na ano ng uh, onions. It's kind of sweet because may konting luto tapos medyo may konti pang spice na iwan sa sa onions sa dalsa. So, you see? Pinuputol ko yung onions sa dalsa medyo baga makapagabal siya. Yan oh. Yun. Ganun lang. Okay? Prepare natin yung cheese and yung buns natin. Okay? So yung buns, yun lang. Just cut in the middle. Yun. I-grill din natin ito mamaya. So, yung buns namin, local buns lang ito, which I bought sa, sa Mayong sa bake shop. Mayong is one of our uh, more popular na bake shop dito sa Sour Market. It's a homegrown brand and one of the best uh, breads, pastries, shop ako, ana. Okay, so next, prepare ko naman yung lettuce. So, we have some lettuce here. Okay, I'll discard the, the, the top. You know, when I was young, pagpasok ko ng first year college, I worked in McDonald's. So, ito, piniprepare talaga namin sa McDo ito. We prepare yung, yung lettuce sa, sa boxing. We call it boxing, yung pinaka-kitchen niya. So, dati yung, yung lettuce ito, iceberg lettuce, uh, we would cut this into, ano, into, we'll shred them. Shred ang pag-prepare namin dito. Eh. So, ito, ito yung gagamitin natin for the burger. For, for Big Mac. Dati ganun ginagawa. So, I'll, I'll show you how how we used to do it. Ganun yung ginagawa namin. Then, I cut this in half. Okay. Slice it really thin. Ayan, tsak. Ganda yung pag-prep namin ng, ng lettuce sa uh, McDonald's before. Mano-mano. I don't know how they do it now. Sa, sa Big Mac nila. So, ganyan. Siyempre, kami mga... mga maldito kami ng mga... Hmm. mga crew. Nandun kami sa boxing, but don't do this. I'm just telling you, ginagawa ko. Magawa ko na sa lalagyan namin yung mayonnaise na ganun. And then kinakain namin diretso. So, pala sa boxing ka, kumakain ka ng patago. Ha? Huwag nang gagawa ko. Kasi marami na na-fire out. Ang trabaho for, for eating. But since it's our show, I can do it. I'm just telling you. Those were fun days and happy days sa uh, time na nagtatrabaho sa Makdo. Hmm? 
It's like salad. Mm. And then ready and time grill. You know, it's always uh, best to to work in your kitchen. No meron ka ano? Meron kang malit na mga container para yung mga dumi sa sa table ng kitchen mo. May ganito. There. Oh, that was really good, huh? Really good. So what to do? May init na yung grill natin at uling na siya. No, yun. Then ilagay na natin to. Give it about 5 minutes para uminit yung pinaka-grill niya. Para pag-turn mo, makita mo may grill marks yan. Okay? So we have our patties. We have our buns. Pag-flip natin ng, ng patty natin, ilalagay natin yung uh, cheese on top para mag-melt siya. And then ikakaramelize natin itong, uh, itong uh, onion. Alright? Okay? So, what I'll do, I'll put our uh, onions here. Yeah, yan. And then, lagyan natin yung uh, pati natin. I'll put in two patties. So, here's one. Oh, ganda. Si sizzle talaga, oh. Here's two. Yun. And then, pag-flip natin ng burger, that's the time na pagluluto ko naman yun, no? Initin natin yung, yung buns natin. Tutoast natin yung buns natin. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then, we'll flip our burger. Yum! One more. One more minute, ready na yung patty natin. It depends on how you want your burger. Some, some people, they like it uh, well done. Ako, I like it uh, medium, medium rare. Para you can really taste the goodness of beef. Uh, optional siya, pwede mo rin siya lagyan na If you want to put some, some pickles, no? just to give that sweet and uh, sour taste, pwede rin lagyan ng condiment pickles to. Since we have pickles here at home. Yeah. Some they like it uh, dill. In dill, naman is uh, fermented in uh, in brine. Okay. Yes. So, ganda ng ano? Ganda ng pagkamelt ng cheese, oh. Mm -hmm. Give me a patties now. I put this on top. There. In it. Yun. And then. Onions natin. Oh! Good. Set it here. And there. Yun. These are... Cheeseburger. Let's try this. Smell it. Wow. So much. Oh! See how juicy it is? You know? Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Perfectly cooked cheeseburger. Hmm. So on days na hindi kami busy dito sa Sormok, when we have gatherings here, I usually serve cheeseburgers. It's easy to prepare. It's fun to cook with friends, lalo na when you eat it, you know, with happy people. So there you go. Here's your, here's your juicy and best tasting burgers that you can prepare in your home. So thank you for joining me right here in Gaumatom. I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget to 
like, subscribe, and uh, press the notification bell para alam nyo kapag meron tayong bagong uh, video na lumalabas. And don't forget to comment, okay? I'll see you again. Bye! Let me just uh, work on this. Mmm!